there are various different gaskets available to use with electrochemical cells and it is important to use the right gasket for the right application. On the left here you'll see the two most common gaskets that you'll come across and you can see at the top here we've got one labelled conventional and at the bottom one that says disposable. Starting on the top the conventional gasket is the one that would be most commonly used with the fixed or conventional working electrode which you can take out and clean and, and refit. They're not actually white in colour, I've just coloured this one so that you can see it because it's clear so it'd be very hard to see otherwise. You can see the difference between the conventional and the disposable electrode. The main difference is the disposable has this little tag attached to it and it's important that this is used with disposable electrodes and that this tag is, is facing between the gold spot and the pin on the, on the, the detector cell. It, it acts as an insulator so it stops a short circuit from forming inside the cell. Now remembering that the channel in here, the little slot, is what forms the cell um, and that's where the eluent flows it means that if we vary the thickness of the gasket we can change the volume of the cell and that can have an effect on our response and that's where the gaskets on the left on the right hand side come in you'll see here we have two different gaskets that you can see one that says 15 mil and one that says 62 mil and mil refers to thousandth of an inch not millimeters so it's 15 thousandth and 62 thousandth of an inch and that's the thickness of the gasket that we're referring to there because we're varying the thickness, that volume of the cell is changed and we can use that to increase the linear working range of the detector. So applications where this might be useful is if you're looking at very high levels of sugars, for example, um, looking at simple sugars in food analysis where the levels could be very high and you may need to do very, very large dilutions to get into the working range and that's where errors can creep in. So by essentially slightly desensitizing the instrument and increasing that linear working range, we can reduce the dilution that's needed and we can reduce the amount of dilution that's needed. It's just important to remember when you use the 62 mil one with the disposable electrodes that we do need to use a special spacer block which is uh, designed to fit with that thicker gasket so the cell still fits together correctly.